Hi, in this particular video we're going to be looking at how to plot a box plot. <laughs> okay, um, I've heard them described in various different ways. Box plot seems to be the most common, but some people call them cat's whiskers diagrams or box and whiskers, and you'll see what I mean when we actually finish this. They are fairly straightforward, but if you're not sure, uh, if you follow the link below in the description, you'll be able to go through to the website and have a go at some questions for yourself. Okay, so the first thing is, is the lowest mark. Well, normally given a little bit of grid paper to do this, but for the purposes of the video, it's just going to be a straight line with the uh, marks put on here. So the lowest mark is 18. So I'm just going to put a little mark there at 18. The highest mark is 86. Well, that's actually called the range. And occasionally with these questions, it will tell you the range. So this is 86, which is very roughly about there. Okay, the median is 57, so again, I'm going to put a mark at 57, which is about there. I'm going to make that slightly bigger, and when I join all the lines up together, you'll see why I've done that. Okay, the lower quartile is 32, which is a mark here, okay. And then finally, the interquartile range. Now, you've got to be a little bit careful with this, because what we've got here is this is called the lower quartile, and we haven't actually got a reading for the upper quartile, which is a mark that's going to go around about here. Well, the interquartile range will tell us that the difference between the lower quartile and the upper quartile is going to be 38. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 32 plus 38, and if I add those together, I get 70. What it tells me is that the lower quartile plus the interquartile range will equal the upper quartile, which is going to be at this point here. Okay, so we've got pretty much our box plot. What we need to do now is just draw the lines in, make it look like a little bit like cat's whiskers, as I was describing it before. So we're going to draw like that. Okay, and that's it. That's what a box plot would look like. Please have a look at the uh, rest of the playlist. Add a comment below if you're not sure. I'll always come back to you. Uh, we're also going to be looking at this playlist at cumulative frequency diagrams as well, and that will follow in the next few videos. Hope that's okay. Look forward to seeing you very soon.